Hi, I'm Aiman, and welcome back to another one of my videos. In this video, what we're going to be doing is focusing on this. What is this, you may ask? It's the Cosway Gaming Racing Reclining Chair. The unit is HW62318, and it's the yellow version. So let's get to it. Alright, so the story behind this chair is, well, I guess you would use this chair for using the computer. So mostly what I do on the computer is gaming, especially at home. Uh, I play things like Terraria, Team Fortress 2, um, I, uh, maybe Minecraft when I get it, um, Stardew Valley with friends. But essentially what I'm doing with the chair is, the reason that we got it is because my dad, whenever he he's working late at night, he comes home, he always sees me, he always opens the door into my room, he always sees me sleeping on the chair. And here's the thing, keep rolling. This is my current chair. It's super worn out. Um, you can see the backrest is like, it's like completely like destroyed. The actual covering is worn out. Actually, under here, you can see that the bottom is ripped, it's torn, and stuff is coming out of it. So I put this um, Goodyear um, memory foam mat um, seat cover on it just to not have that appear. And it's also really bad at flipping over but so it's, as you can tell it's not a good thing for me to be sitting on or sleeping on definitely not sleeping on i'm not sure if i should be saying that don't sleep on your chair guys but that's the reason why we got this chair so that i can recline on this chair and maybe sleep on it but maybe not because i don't want to do that anymore because that's going to be bad for me for my back in the future so let's get to opening it all right so we're going to get this inside and we're going to unbox this uh, chair. The first problem is I don't really know um, which side it opens from. One of the things it says on the box is that it's, uh, the gross weight of this box is about 49 pounds, but the actual weight of the chair is around 43 pounds. So that means that the packaging is probably like six pounds of it. So I can't wait to see what this chair looks like when we actually open it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna open from this side, even though this might be the... Actually, I might open from this side, because this seems like crap. So, this chair is from Cosway. We got it for around... How much? It was it was originally $140, but I think we got it on sale for $130. Or maybe my dad got a coupon. But we definitely got it on sale. Compared to other gaming chairs, like, this one was cheaper. I mean... At least compared to like $300, $400, $399 gaming chairs that you can like recline fully on. But compared to other chairs, like $60 ones, I mean, it might be, it might sound a bit more expensive, especially for a chair. Then you gotta realize those $60 chairs don't really have as much features as what we're about to do over here. So let's get that shot. Alright, so let's get into the swing of things. Let's see what we got here. We got the star base. This is for holding the wheels. This is super massive. Um, you guys don't know this, but my house is incredibly small. So this, this entire chair could probably fit through the doorway. This thing itself can just barely pass through. So you can tell this might be a bit too big for my room, but we'll see when I assemble the entire thing. We also got what appears to be the uh, the headrest. Okay. Or maybe this is the headrest. Or armrest. We'll see. We have instruction manual with some other things. More of that. After we take out this cover, let me lift this up again. We got an actual view of the chair. The back seat and let's lift that let's lift these uh arm rests out as you can tell i'm probably not a type of channel to review gaming chairs and stuff but i thought it would be a fun idea just to do this sort of unboxing um uh, cool just showing a daily update on what my life of i guess getting a gaming chair is like i don't know it seems like a weird concept but just sort of click with me. 
And I mean, why not do this video just to recoup some of the money that we spent on this gaming chair? Because I did mention it was $130. All right, take some more of that cardboard out. I love cardboard, by the way. I always use it to make like big giant swords. It doesn't matter. Uh, and on the bottom here, ooh, we got the, what's, what's the bottom of the seat called? I, I'll, for now, I'll just, call, I'll just call this the seat. Um, I'm pretty sure there's another name for it, but this is the seat. As you can see on the front here, this is a foot rest. And this is going to be very handy later when you're reclining and you just want to relax. But we'll see that later. Um, ooh. I think this is the, what's it called? The gas rod. This is what allows your seat to be adjustable. It's what your seat stands on. It's gonna look pretty cool. Let's see. All right, so it wouldn't be an unboxing without more unboxing. So we're going to just unpack this. I'm not sure if we should do this too early or if there is a too early for this, but this is what the gas rod looks like. Okay, so along with the rod, we have wheels. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so while I'm doing this, one thing I mentioned um, is that the color of this chair is supposed to be yellow. Um, you guys see anything wrong with, with that? Um, so to be honest, I might be colorblind, so maybe maybe this is all actually yellow, but I'm pretty sure this all is orange. Uh, you might want to work on your uh, advertising there. Okay, so we got the adjustability something which I'm sure will be important later. Oh, these look like the things that make it adjustable. The telescope. And then we have the actual rod. All right. So another thing you'll notice about this uh, chair is that it comes not assembled. So that means if you buy a chair like this without expert assembly, you're gonna have to assemble it yourself. I heard a noise. Did you guys hear that? Let's check in the box. Oh, what are you doing in there? Okay, so a nice feature about getting a $130 uh, item is that you can get a box. And that's probably the most important item for the cat. It's the same thing with like buying them a expensive like playhouse. Even if you buy, if you assemble the playhouse and give it to them, they're still going to fix them up. So they also have the bolts. Um, I like bolts better than screws because they're, they're more often stronger. And they also have the hex screwdriver, I guess you could say. Uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, I think that's it. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish unboxing this. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is the assembly of this uh, chair. So that if you buy a similar chair or this exact chair, you'll be able to see the steps they have to take in order to assemble it. So for now, I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. If you like or comment, subscribe, look at other videos on I Ayman, especially the uh, videos just about my daily life. And also look forward to the videos on this chair. I was planning to uh, be really cool and finish this all in one shot by taking all this plastic out, but I guess they didn't design it this way. But anyway, I guess that's it. So, signing out.